Hey you guys, today we're going to take a look at Dream Break. Dream Break? Yeah, if I can get my words correct. I know I haven't done a look at videos for some time. I've actually got a backlog of about over 60 plus games to do videos on. So, I thought I'd start with some more recent releases and then work my way through one by one. Today we're going to take a look at uh, Dream Break, if I can say it properly. And uh, basically, it's just come out where it's coming out. Either way, it's a really cool 2D retro style game that only takes up just shy of 44 megabytes. 44.05 megabytes, if my memory serves me correctly. I have played a little bit of this, and uh, I did that last night actually, and I had a look. So what we'll do is, we should continue because I'm not too far into the story, yeah, and there's not really much to give away here. So you play this dude here, and uh, as you can see, the art style is extremely retro. But we've got some cool visual, um, oh, what's the word? What effects going on? Like the smoke in the top right corner of the screen, and then obviously we have the smoke on, on the um, what looks like to be skips. And there's other effects throughout the game that's pretty cool. The soundtrack here is awesome, and throughout you'll find um, you'll find audio CDs, they're like collectibles in the game. Now, as you can see, we can jump if we push the left trigger, and if we actually push R1, or L1, we can run. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you push, they both do the same thing. Left and right on your, on your trigger is to move the character right, and to enter into orange doors, we just press the X button, and uh, get some cool little futuristic sound effects, and here we go. And uh, so far I've played like the first probably 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and it's all about puzzle solving. Puzzle solving, and uh, that's what I've got to so far, a little bit of action as well. If I wanted to do some, some little thing, this would do the job, we should have any power. Damn. So we've, um, we've took the metro here, and we're right in the city, and I'm a little unsure as to what to do next. Nice now there are some settings, I'll show you, you can turn the music off, you can turn this off, which is sound effects I believe, music is off, sound effects, master, pretty basic menu to be honest, uh, if you touch the touchpad you also get this nice uh, handy quick menu which gives us the control which is great because it's uh, super, super quick to just check the controls if you've got it wrong. I played this on Vita for the remote last night, and honestly my experience was stellar. On the PS4 it still looks great, but uh, this would be great for a handheld by the Vita. I don't understand why uh, they haven't released it on the Vita, because it's a good game. There's also some mini games in there, which we're close to the beginning, and they're quite fun as well. I don't know, let me just try and go along to the left and at the top of these stairs. Sometimes the stair climbing is retarded a little bit slow, you have to wait for him to, there you can. Uh, you can't really talk to people either, uh, certain things come up with descriptions. Yes, it's not as slow, but it, if you walk everything, you get to take in the beautiful scenery and the way he's actually made it look fantastic. In my opinion. Sorry, let's have a look at you. The way they should, the game developers have made it look really, really cool. If you like this sort of game, if you don't, then you may as well just switch off the video now. Me personally, I've been into my indie games recently a hell of a lot, and I've been playing a lot of indie games. Just because they're so much more interesting than the current kind of AAA releases. I have this pass in the top right, you can see. I picked this up earlier. Oh, what is this? Does this can I enter something into that hole? If I press option, you can touch pad. Hey, you can do that at the same time. Okay. I don't know if I just use that thing automatically or something that we do. Or if I have to press the as well. What's this? Stop showing that keycard. Stop showing that keycard in my face, mister. I get it, you need to go to the third floor, but it's all sealed off. My sewing's got to be done, and 
power, and I guess it's uh, this thing here. Let's go through here. Let's take a look at what actually. Basically, if you push up on the R2 button, sometimes you can jump onto ledges. Um, and this looks like it could be movable. What's this? I've got some sort of spray. Basically, it's interactable with that sort of bright orange you see around the doors, sign on the skip. So, although I'm stuck. Oh, wait, I'm good. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't try this before. So, that's right here. Ah, oh, it's cooled off. That sucks. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, that's how we did it. So, I've been having a blast with this. I don't know why, because some people would, would, would really hate this, this type of game, but I think it's great, I love the way it looks. I want to use the elevator because there is no orange door, but there is two. There's a notice over here. Wake up, comrade. Time for your patriots. This is broadcast news about page production and growth and prosperity, but... I need to clear that out. Can we not use? Oh, it's a shame we can't use that spray on it to clean it up. Or the touchpad, you know, doesn't really do anything either. There's no buttons to, to do anything there, so we can't go any further this way, I don't think. Ah, oh, we're just out, outside there. So let's head into one of these doors. We'll head into the first one. platinum for this game, just to like point that out as well. But for the size, you don't really expect that. Oh shit, it's gathering out. And uh, also, many people have stopped swearing on YouTube because of this whole um, not being able to be monetized and crap that he says, right? Is there anything on him? I can't jump in the tent. Just says nothing special in there. But what's on the cupboard? Look at that. Skills. This will touch on a preloaded gun and a battery. Or a force field projector. And this nightclub fire. The only lead I've got. Okay. That's pretty cool. You see on the top right the icons and stuff. The question is though, how do we use the gun? Oh look, we can press square and it'll give us a full rundown of what we got. Oh, that's cool. Does, it, uh, does this give us any more? No. Okay. So the question is now what do we do? This isn't the first one, the second one's really have much. This guy's supposed to put them in the hole. Oh, wait, how did you get up here? You... Shit! 
Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! What?
Oh, come on. Got it. Can I still die? Oh, man, that sucks. No, not ball. It's well, it's like just to get those last two really, really hard. Come on. See, I've done the wrong one now because now I've got less time to him. And that's it. Oh man, it's so annoying because it doesn't go where you want it to go because you've only got like a limited amount of control over it. Really down tough. I'm gonna cut this one. And the blue one should be here. I hope there's no more. <laughs> Oh, come on. Am I there? Have I made it? <sighs> Man, that was close. And look at that, we've crashed. That's some pretty cool. Some pretty cool work right there. You can't get that way though. Anyway guys, I don't want to show you too much of this game, but you can see so far it's actually pretty decent. For a game that's got a very small size, file-wise, it's great to play on the Vita, on remote play, it's great to play through the PS4 itself, and uh, overall it's quite an enjoyable experience, if not a little tough. If you enjoyed this uh, video guys, if you did hit the like button, if you don't enjoy this video, then that's fair enough guys, hit the dislike button, and uh, if you can, then please do subscribe to support the channel, because it really does help me out, and uh, gives me the gives me the gumption to make more of these. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you very soon. Cheers.